Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you my reflections from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on February the 13th. And just a reminder, I cannot read directly from the book that is a copyright infringement, so I will just share with you my reflections, with uh, which I've written out on a notebook. So peace be with you. Steep in this peaceful presence, steeping in and you guys i like to talk about piecing in so then we can piece out into the culture into the world into the darkness so taking this time to cultivate an environment of stillness so that we can then piece out and wear this piece as a radiant fabric we can preach the gospel without ever opening our mouths without ever quoting chapter and verse because we can be a source of his peace his light and his calm um, be the light that you want to see in this world give hope positive expectation in the circumstances so we can be the light and we can be the peace the calm and the stillness in the contrast of the chaos and the uncertainty and this level of peace this surpasses the peace that we experience in our human form this peace actually has the power to align our hearts and our minds our hearts the seat of the soul the place where he takes up residence from the moment of conception from the moment of creation he planted this perfect love that he is forever chasing then we are invited to create an environment cultivate pull the weeds calm the chaos and the distraction and be that light so the readings for today february the 13th 13th the first one is john chapter 20 verses 19 and 21 on the evening of that first day of the week when the disciples were together when the doors locked for fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you again jesus said peace be with you as the father has sent me i am sending you and acknowledging here this is after the resurrection jesus comes back in we are preparing ourselves for the lenten season as we get ready for the resurrection of our savior jesus christ and the gift of that peace that surpasses all understanding because it comes from our creator and our father the second reading is john chapter 14 verse 27 peace i leave with you my peace i give you i do not give as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid we can be afraid up here but he's saying in your heart in your soul in the seat of my existence within you do not fear do not be afraid and when we begin to create this intentional anchor of aligning our soul you guys our beliefs are going to begin to follow our behaviors so aligning this stuff cultivating this true belief system that he planted within us the final reading is philippians chapter 4 verse 7 and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus so a level of peace that begins to align and i've mentioned before communion now means something entirely different to me Communion is aligning my thoughts, my feelings, my actions, aligning my thoughts, feelings, and actions with the desires of his heart, his love, his source within me. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.